run. <clears throat> so when we last uh, left off, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I believe we were heading um, across this little bay uh, to this little region here in an effort to recruit a frost giant um, in your efforts to deal with our, our, uh, our uh, troublesome queen up here. Yes. Does that sound right? Okay. Now, um, until Castiel arrives, we're going to say he's going to hang out h here. Um, he wants to know a little bit more about uh, uh, King Siren's uh, half-sister. Um, he wants to get a little bit more information on that. But if he shows up, then we'll, we'll just you know, bring him on over. All right, so yeah, you uh, you set sail. It doesn't take long to get over here. You're able to kind of get off, no no trouble across the water. It's really cold as you sail across the water. Wind blowing is uh, yeah really uh, really intense. The the cold here, and uh, as you make your way over here, um, you're uh, again you're traveling through these woods, very thick, uh, um, you know snowy snowy trees, very cold, <clears throat> and. Um, Eventually, as you're making your way through that, you begin to hear something, um, and what you hear is, uh, is, is there's kind of a combination of things. You hear what sounds like like scraping, um, and you also hear what kind of sounds like humming, but very very low humming, and then you hear a, a and uh, you. You hear that before you see anything. Um, what would you like to do? It's it's it, that sounds coming in the direction that you're you're going anyway. Do we know what direction it's heading? Well, or is it too vague? Well, well, you know where the sounds coming from. It doesn't sound like it's moving. It sounds like it's you know coming from <laughs> off in off in the distance. Uh, I see. Okay. I say we just head towards it, investigate it, get us get visual, get a visual. Yeah, I would like to just. I could I start flying uh, vertically up a little bit, about, what, 50 feet off the ground? Yeah, I'll be flying 50 feet off the ground. Okay. All right, give me one second here. I want to set... Oh, i got to fix this here. One second. Let me close this here. Okay, close this here. Let's drop all this here. Oh well, I guess that'll that'll stay there. No big deal. All right, one second, almost there. Okay, we say August. We're gonna say Mary, and we're gonna say Alan. And uh, eventually, all of you will see this. I'm just going to kind of activate this for for everybody here. And I'm just using a uh, oops, wrong button. I'm just using um, a um, the, the same uh, a similar map we've used. It's not the same actual location. I'm just using a, 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 a similar map for this. So gotcha. yeah, what you see, you see um, a giant. Um, what he's doing, he's using his big mace to kind of like shave off uh, pieces of this tree into like a big tinder pile. Um, he's humming as he does so. Um, over here, you see a mammoth, like using his trunk, his trunk to uh, kind of reach in the trees and just like pull a bunch down. He's kind of like eating, and uh, yeah, he's just kind of humming and hanging out as he's getting a, a fire ready. I think we can just casually approach. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, who's gonna? Who's gonna... So, trying to bounce the ideas off our people here. Yeah, yeah. Talk about what you want to do. I think a casual approach is a good call. Well, it's something to tune. It's got to be in a good mood, at the very least. I'll just be. I'll be flying. Be flying. I'm flying. All right, well, I'm gonna slowly approach. Yeah, I'm gonna. And make my presence forward. known. Hello, the camp. Hello. Okay. The lovely tune you're humming. <laughs> Give me one second here. Let me check something here. Okay. Let me fix something here. Is this the, the so-called frost giant? It is. 
Okay. So um, as you make your way up, and how far do you want you know, put yourself where you want to be when you uh, when you speak up? Because he doesn't seem to be paying attention. He's doing his thing. Um, so how far do you want to move up before you speak up? I'm just going to speak up as soon as I leave the tree line. And if he doesn't hear me, I just repeat myself until he does. Okay. So yeah, he looks up over. Oh, um, he, he stops his... Uh, um, Join the crew here. You know, shaving off uh, you know tinder from a tree with his uh, his great axe, and as you get closer, kind of like on this side, you see like a pile of large rocks, and uh, he kind of looks over at y'all, cocks one of his really large eyebrows, and kind of stands up, and he says, uh, "Yeah." Hi. Kind of nods his head. Hi. And now, like, the man is kind of looking over while it's crunching on a bunch of twigs and leaves and stuff. Hi. Say hi to the mammoth as well. I tell Prancer to go over and socialize with the mammoth. Oh, yeah, Prancer. Okay. Let me put Prancer in here. Pseudo. I don't know, Prancer. Offer the mammoth a beer. Give him liver problems like yourself. He's really tiny to the... To the... <laughs> to the <laughs> To the mammoth. <laughs> so he's, the way he's... to be a friend is to make a friend. No, I have that backwards. The way to make a friend is be a friend. So go be social. <laughs> he's like, he's really big, but okay. So yeah, the giant's kind of looking at you for a moment. And, uh, can I help you? Uh, kinda, yeah. So there's been rumors that a certain queen has been... And pushed you out of your own land. We've heard more or less. Yeah. If that's correct. He's kind of scowling now. So yeah. Well, maybe. Um, you know, a certain group of people are wanting to move against this queen and could use someone of your stature in their corner. I think maybe you could use some revenge. And the frost giants always say, revenge is best served cold. Everything, really? Everything is cold, good cold. Did they actually say that, Mary? I don't know, but it sounded cool in my head, okay? <laughs> All right, it was kind of cool. Thanks. It's like, uh... I'm not saying queen... Uh, you know, any queen did anything that you know you may think that she may have done, but I don't think I'm going to do anything right now. It's not time. Coward. Whoa. What? <laughs> she said it, not me. You heard me. <laughs> coward, you say? What stays your hand other than cowardice? Uh, <laughs> trying to think of something to say, but like I could kill you. I, you would be good. You could, and you what would is be that good to seasoning you? for my next meal. I'm not Crush even big you. enough to be pepper for your next meal. Uh, make you into sauce. There isn't enough of me to make a sauce. I think I'm more metal than man. You don't have to take off my armor. I make I make utensils, plate and fork and stuff from his armor, and then I make him into sauce too. But oh, hold on, hold on. How does again, the fact that you could kill us and turn us into like a, a four course meal justify you not one, moving one against course. this queen? Maybe half a course. Maybe Probably well, an amuse bouche. Okay. I don't even know what that means. Tiny little bite. Okay. Uh, she's already she's already beat me once, okay? There. Yeah, so you're going to let her do it again without her even being here to do it? Coward. She's not here. Stop calling me coward. And well, she's already beaten you. That's change funny. your method of approach. Did you try going alone last time? Maybe you can use some people in your corner, too. Oh, I had a whole family. Oh. And you don't want revenge? Of course I do. But So you're queen... out here whittling tree trunks into toothpicks with your big silly cow over there. 
a it's mammoth, not, actually. It's not a cow. Sure. <laughs> they say we're dumb. <laughs> Look, we're... I, I, okay, he's, he's looking around, like, to make sure, to see if, like, anyone's listening. And he says, um, the, uh, the other elf queen says only when time is right. She's, she says she's making, mo getting ready, and she says when time is right, vengeance w it will be mine. And, and but time will never be right with the sun seeming so far away from here. Oh. He kind of looks over at the mammoth. He looks over back at you, and you see him scratching his head. And he's trying to remember. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a, a say. I'm gonna make him make a roll here real quick. What did you just say to him? He said the password. Oh, shit, there was a password. Did you pay attention when the queen was talking to us last three weeks ago? I, I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he stands up, and he's like, uh, "I can't remember if that is password to help you or password to kill you. There's one for each, and I can't remember which one that one is." So let me let me give you the help action. It's the one to help us. <laughs> Uh, are you sure? Because if it's the one to if it's sure. the one to kill you, I'm supposed to kill you. It's not the one to kill us. That's that's the the moon has come up in the west. The moon has come up in the west. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. The one about sun, because sun is 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 uh, uh, new new growth. So the so the sun is take action, and moon was take action to kill. That may, that makes sense. It's dark at when the moon is up. That makes sense. Give me a persuasion yeah. roll with advantage. You might be like, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm, deception, mm -hmm. you know, whichever you choose. <laughs> or performance. No, not performance. Oh, I'm my pseudo dragon. That's why it's not giving me any of my advantages. Oh. <laughs> like this does not seem right. I'm pretty persuasive. Well, damn. Very persuasive. Very persuasive. All right. So yeah. Uh, the mammoth comes over here. He starts uh, putting like uh, really huge uh, sacks across the uh, the mm -hmm. mammoth's back, and then he starts loading you know some uh, some rocks into those sacks. He grabs his giant great axe and sp you know slings it over his shoulder, and he says, uh, "Well, if time is now, time is now. The time is now. All right, time and is now." I and like the August, and I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> now, once you, uh, once he gets gathered, um, he loads up, uh, he, he, he uh, loads up some, um, some rations he offers you some rations but what, what he means by rations is you know like you know human jerk human dried you know jerky uh, you know maybe some like salted elf meat um you know, that he's got stashed away and like nice and cold and preserved um and 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 some like you know elk and other other stuff so he, he does have a variety of meats that are uh you know ready to go and as you begin uh, your your path out of this his little his little uh, area here, uh, you notice in the sky a uh, a dragon, kind of kind of hovering up in the uh, sky, and it's it's way high. It's about uh, let's say Yeah, 
it's 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 a couple hundred feet up there, and it seems to be in patrol mode, and uh, as it as it kind of just circles about, um, you you can tell someone's riding it, but it's hard to uh, make out uh, uh, features, um, and then the the giant stops and is like, uh, uh, dragon, um, hmm, that's uh, that's hers. Now, so. I'm not afraid of dragon. I can kill dragon, no no problem. But she's got other things. She's uh, have you heard about the giant worm? We've heard about the giant worm. Yeah, she's got giant worm too. You know, if it's is it is it? You think you think it's coming? I don't know. That's uh, that's what chased me, uh, me away. Kill family. Oh. We're bad. Yes, we're bad. But he uh, takes a deep breath. He looks over to Mary and gives a scowl and like gives a <laughs> coward. And he kind of just marches like right, right towards the you know in, into that direction. And um, mammoth, mammoth uh, in tow. Now let me kind of go back. Kind of repositioning some, some of y'all. What happened? Oh, okay, you're doing that. I didn't want to get left behind. I wasn't going to leave behind. Now we need our druid friend and his bear, and we'll have a whole little group. And as you begin moving into essentially the oh, queen, die. the the queen's uh, uh, territory, yeah, that dragon that has has spotted you and has is uh, is uh, definitely uh, trailing you. Are we going to take any action on that? Is there anything anything we want to do on that? Or... What I know, what can I do? Can I remember any information about white dragons? Yeah, you could do anything specific about them. Yeah. Any dumb kind of element they primarily use. You and anyone else, uh, arcane would work. I would say history. Um, yeah, maybe even religion. Some people worship dragons. Oh, nice. History, religion. Arcane, even. Okay. Pretty. So, August, uh, yes, you are aware of some things about uh, white dragons. Uh, yeah, their breath weapon is uh, is cold, uh, cold breath. Um, uh, and, and you also know that they are the, the least intelligent of the dragons. They're not the ones to sit there and, and talk your ear off. They're the they're more primal. They're the hunters. Um, they they want to eat. They want to and, and you know and survive. And that's about it. You know, well, where, where other dragons may get involved in like you know you know uh, global politics, white dragons just prefer to defend their territory and eat. And that's it. I wonder if we can bribe it with food. It could be. So we keep we keep pursuing in, doing anything else, keep making our way in. Do we want to try and take it on? It, it hasn't made any aggressive moves. It's always been flying uh, over you and just watching. Oh, yeah, we would yeah. make the aggressive. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Let my cat out real quick. I have been secretly replaced by somebody who is very aggressive today. Apparently. 
Right. It's the change in weather. Mm. The aggressive weather. I mean, are we ready to fight a dragon? Does it look big or small? It looks... Mm, large size, I think. Let's double check. Because it's it's not an adult. And you you could tell that um, also um, uh, with your role there, August. That's dragon proportion. Yeah, that it's not. Let's see, that it's not an adult. Where we go? Alan, okay. what are you thinking? Do you want to try and lose the dragon? Do you want to try and kill the dragon? Do you want to try and bribe the dragon? We've got options. A young is large size, so about the size of a, a horse. Flying a horse? Over. Yeah, a horse. Yeah. We got the giant with us. Yep. And but there is someone. There's. You also saw someone riding it too. Giant can ride the cow. <laughs> Make a conga line of riding. Giant can ride the cow. I can ride the giant. <laughs> I have Mary on my shoulders. Prancer standing on top of my head. Owl flying <laughs> above us. Make ourselves look big and intimidating. Al Alan, a little scary. What's up? What's what's your thoughts? Do you want to try and take the dragon? Do you want to try and hide from the dragon? Do you want to try and... Um, it's a white dragon? It's a young white dragon. Oh, I mean, I read about these in my book. We could probably beat one up with all of us. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Okay. My vote's to... to... Get into conflict. All right. Well, let's let's fight this thing then. I'm gonna use sacred flame to start writing "coward" in the snow in really big letters. <laughs> 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 um. It worked so well last time. Um, it, it, There's not it, really way to prepare for this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it doesn't seem to, to taunt. Um, it still stays a uh, very safe altitude away from you as uh, it observes your, your approach. Can I fly up to it? You can. Can I fly? As I fly towards it, does it react? Yes. It and its rider uh, turn it um, and start flying away. Oh. Okay. What's your uh, fly speed? 50 feet. Okay. It, I'm pretty sure dragon's faster than me. It can. And what it does is it flies away, turns around and watches, and if you try to keep approaching, it you know kind of it maneuvers away, it, but it's always kind of staying in your area. Alright. Uh, I fly back down to the party. And I let them know that the dragon is just observing us and doesn't want to fight. So it's probably talking to somebody about what we're doing. Well, it's got a rider and it probably doesn't want to get into a direct conflict with us. So it's going to be opportunistic. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, well. So we press on. Okay. All right, let me set something up here real quick. Like, unfortunately, we yes. Say so we press on. One second here. Hey, Avalon, when we get into some shit, can you be our early warning system for the dragon? Because I'm Me. sure we can take it one-on-one, -on -one, but if it gets us while we're distracted, it's going to be a problem. Okay, yeah, I'll watch out for the dragon. Because when, when we're in the tree line, we're going to have a hard time keeping an eye out for it. All right, almost there. Pseudo 
dragon. There he is. And then we got giant and mammoth. Okay, so as you're as you're making your way through, um, it, now this is this this takes a while, right? This is a, a matter of days, but you notice that nothing seems to uh, to, uh, to to bother you. Um, as you make your way through, the woods are eerily quiet. The dragon maintain the dragon and its rider maintain a um, a safe distance from you as it as it monitors you. Um, even when you stop to camp and rest, it it doesn't bother you. Um, it you, you think it goes you think it goes to rest too, but eventually it's back and uh, and and, and uh, trailing your uh, your approach. And you start to get into an area that is um, that uh, it, it, it reminds you of the other elf kingdoms, but with 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 less buildings. The the elves here seem to be more uh, wood based, more woodland based. Uh, you know, wood elves or wild elves, and uh, there's not as uh, many of those buildings as you see in the other other kingdoms. There are some some tents, some uh, some like hide some hide structures, um, and you know some some small wood structures as well, but not a lot of like you know huge like big buildings and palaces and such in fact most of their civilization is is outside and you approach and you find this i said a castle more of a fucking stronghold that's just uh, like a symbol now red bray lady you see, you see the the queen sitting on on this throne, and uh, you know, and you know the the, the dragon has, has landed. Uh, the rider has dismounted, and you recognize, uh, or may not, this uh, this diplomat, this uh, this ambassador, and uh, yeah, the the queen uh, here. And uh, as you as you approach, and you know, you get to this point, that's when um, this dude kind of steps up right here and says, "Come no further to her highness." State your business. You are right. Uh, I don't I just want to make sure everyone's on board. Yeah, might as well be. You, you could have discussed what you want to say before before now. So if you want to take a moment and figure out your plan, <laughs> you can. Because <laughs> you've had days to travel. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, figure out what you how you want to approach this. Ultimate goal is just like killer. <laughs> Am I, I wrong? Don't it's necessarily kill her so much as it is get her to chill. Get her to chill would be nice, yeah. Get her to chill. Chill, yeah. chillax. Yeah. How do we get the queen to chill? I don't know, but like, if we could do that without killing her, great. If we have to kill her, then okay. Uh. She's got the worm. I'm just saying, I mean, that's like a, the goal. The goal isn't necessarily that she ends up dead. It's that she stops messing with her peers. I don't even know how to start that, like, conversation, Mary. Maybe, like, a denuclearization. <laughs> Get rid getting rid of her WMDs. Tear down worm. this wall. Worm controller. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be a voice of reason. But you're so charismatic. You're so and charismatic. you believe in Santa Claus. I'm the meat, I, I'm the, I'm the meat I, I, th Both of those statements are true and accurate. But also... However... <laughs> naughty, I just go punch things. ...need to be killed. So you want to kill the queen? I'm not killing the queen. If she, does, if she repents... If she finds the true spirit of Christmas within herself, then no, she doesn't have to die. Mm. But she has well, to then. repent. How is she going to repent? I don't know. That's between her and Santa. Are you going to like walk up there and give her a pamphlet? I could. I'll see could. 
our giant here wants to wants to kill her. What, what, what do you say, giant? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to kill her. You know, she, See? you know, she killed she, her and her monster killed my family, chased me away, put me in exile, um, made the little one call me a coward. That's true. That, that hurts. That hurts. Uh, for the record, nobody made me cow call you a coward. It was your cowardice that uh, resulted in that. I don't want to blame but yourself. That was uh, that was the consequences of your actions. And you know what? Maybe we let the queen know that her actions have consequences as well. <laughs> oh, we kill it. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm fine with killing her. All right. Let's try to do it. All right, so we step forward. We step forward. Hail, Queen. What up? What up, son? And she says, um, your oh, wait, present... So when he, when he says, halt there, like, come no further, I'm just going to say why, and just continues slowly walking forward with everyone else. Okay, so we're not, so as, as a group, we're not stopping, right? Okay, so let me kind of just make Just it making up. sure every, everyone's, everyone's continuing to move. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna move everyone up as a group here, a little bit at a time as we talk. And he, as you, when by the time you get here, he said, because no one is allowed to approach her royal per person without permission. And you move up again. Do you say anything? Why? Yeah. Do I have your permission? No. In fact, if you don't stop, you're gonna be. We're, we we will use a uh, lethal force to defend our queen. And we'll you move up a little more. So Why? We're gonna die. <laughs> we, should, we, should, uh, we should start some wide, like splitting up a little. Real quick, I'm gonna try and subtly cast Warding Bond on August. You're gonna try, subtly cast Warding Bond. Okay, give me a sleight of hand roll. Let's see how subtle you can do this. Can I walk in front of her? You can, so you have advantage on that. Just put you right here. Boop. Perfect. Perfect. Fifteen. Let me take a quick look at. And I gave myself a uh, guide. Oh, oh a nineteen. 19. Let me just. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the best one here. Nineteen. Okay. What do I have? What do I have in my back pockets? Well, hopefully that ring that I gave you. Uh, well, it's, it's on. I have an improved firebomb. <laughs> I got the big one. Okay, so what, what, what spell did you cast? Go ahead and put it up there. Uh, warding bond. Well, now I'm gonna go uh, find my. If you, oh, if you need to, go ahead and full rest it. If uh, if if you need to. Uh, on our way up, before we get into combat, I would like to use one of my key points. To uh, summon the arms of the astral self. Cool. So you guys see like these sickly black, starry uh, astral tentacles kind of sprout out from my arms. And that lasts for 10 minutes. Or until I die. Or get incapacitated. That's cool. Mary, you got uh, 50 gold pieces you can put on that spell? Well, I had to use the... Remember, I had to make the ring. It's The ring is not used on duration when I got my jewel crafting. That's right, the, that's right. I made the ring. My bad. I'm not. Sorry. Okay. That's, that's all right. You touch creates a connection with you. While the target is with it, it gains plus one bonus to AC and saving throws. Please remind me of that. Also, each time it takes damage, you oh you take some of the damage. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's not my favorite part of the spell. I'll be honest. <laughs> okay, so they do not notice that, but um, August, you feel a surge of magical energy um, swarming around you, protective energy. Um, you move up nice. a little more, and he says, "Final warning: Stop or die." Uh, do we do anything? Do we stop? Do we? What do we do? I let's guess stop. I just. I guess I just die. Just, oh, yeah. just die. Let's let's <laughs> let's kind of split up a little, so we're not immediately getting like hit with the largest AOE. Because probably the dragon's probably gonna like breathe on us. 
Okay, so give me a second here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the combat. Is there already one set up? No, but I'm gonna do this. Harry hides behind. Harry hides behind the fucking giant. I'm gonna fly up like I don't know, twenty feet. Okay, let's get you in there. All right, one second. Don't roll anything just yet. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Approach the prior breathing does like not a lot of damage now. Yeah. Hey. Excuse me. Okay, now you can roll initiative. Get back. What's up? Oh, okay, we're rolling. It's happening, guys. Okay, we will say, Mary, you're going first. You're behind the giant, what are you going to do? Let me kind of make them look a little... Uh, I am going to ready an action, and the action is going to be... You know what? <laughs> nope, I'm just going to Eldritch Blast the guy that's chatting. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's what we do. Oh, I feel bad about that. I can't um, start. No, make sure you I target. Oh. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna ready an action, and the ready to action is going to be if he makes any hostile moves, I'm going to respond with an eldritch blast right up his nose. Okay. Mm. Now. Since you're watching him, um, it's it's uh, we're gonna say uh, bad, bad bad guy's turn. Um, he doesn't make an aggressive action to you, but he moves. He move, he starts he starts moving backwards. You, do you wanna? Do you, do you consider, <laughs> the word's coming. Do you, do you consider that aggressive? <laughs> he's retreating. He's retreating aggressively. Oh no! I don't. I really don't. Okay. I, I I I don't. I can't. I can't make the first hit. It's it's. He's got to be naughty first. He's aggressively hiding behind his dragon. No, his action is to mount the dragon, and then on the dragon's turn, it is going to fly upward. upward. He's uh, aggressively uh, mounting the dragon. <laughs> we're, we're approaching aggressive territory, yes. Um, let's see. How far are... Let's see. What's, what's, the, what's the range on this thing? Let me double check. Oh, wow. 30 foot cone? 30 foot that's, that's not very. So he can fly. Eight. What does a 30 foot cone look like? I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to see. Wow. And I'm also going to fly up another 15 feet. That's me metagaming. It's too too late. I was done with my turn. <laughs> what are you metagaming with? <laughs> he was saying it was a 30-foot cone. I'm like, ah, I will get out of that 30-foot cone. But that's that's me metagaming. Okay, so yeah, the dragon yeah. takes flight. What? Kind of comes about right here. Happening. Um, let's see what this looks like. Usability. Oh, he's going to have to move a little closer to you. Oh, hold on. Right here. Okay, now let's try it. Now that I consider to be an aggressive action. <laughs> but it's not the uh, your target doing it. I, I, I would say you can take a shot. Give me, hold on, yeah, I would say him mounting the dragon and then charging it in our direction what is him this? being aggressive. I'm trying to figure out why this won't work. Give me one second. Okay, here. Uh, 
Um, that wasn't anything. Don't do that. Um, that was just... We want to recharge. Hmm. Sorry about this. Give me a second. Okay, good. Still there. All right. Usability. No ability uses remaining. What are you talking about? You need to target it at someone? Oh, well, that's too bad. He doesn't have a breath weapon. <laughs> he's so, you know, he's so, that's just a shame. No, I'm just going <laughs> to do it myself here. That's Never mind then. All right. That's all right. Where's my cone? Where's the cone? And we're going to say 30 feet. Which I think uh, you are outside of there, Mary. All right, if you're oh, in, thank God. if you're in that cone, give me a what's the save? I think it's con. Constitution save. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that includes our giant buddy here. August, you do have a plus one. Plus one from your thing? That's not bad. Sixteen. For the warding bond. Okay, so I get a I get a I get twenty three. Because I get a plus one for my, my cloak. Okay, cloak so protection. you two pass. Is the where, is the pseudo dragon there? Is it why is why is the pseudo dragon up there? Should it shouldn't it be near you, Mary? Yeah, Prince should be near me. I think he okay. just didn't follow me. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Okay, so those of you who passed are gonna take half half of this. The giant, surprisingly, did not pass. Imagine. Well, isn't he a frost giant, so he gets resistant anyway to cold damage? Should he be? I believe it's so. Let's see here. And August Oh yeah, immunities. Passed, yeah, immunities. Never half mind. Of half. I take half half. I take a fourth. Okay, so that's the total. So half or half of half, if uh, that's what you're doing. So 51 divided by 4 is uh, 13. Alrighty. Okay. And then our, let's see, this person here is going to do... Bardic Inspiration on his queen, who will then use that Bardic Inspiration to Oh, there it is. Okay. To take a shot with her bow. And who's she going to take a shot with? She's going to take a shot at, let's see, who's up front here? We got August and we got Alan. Looks like she's going to take a shot. August is covered in metal, so she's going to chance a shot at Alan. Who's chance of shooting at me? This uh, elf queen. Oh, what a mistake. I'm gonna pick her up, drag her so far into the sky. <laughs> What's oh, that? <laughs> You're just gonna pick her up and fucking drag her. Oh, nice! That hits. Oh shit! No, um, I I, I targeted the wrong person. Oh well, <laughs> that's all right. You still. That, hey man, that still she's, hits. she's <laughs> hitting her Plus friends. Is wild. <laughs> okay, so then that's gonna do. Okay, that's gonna do seven damage. Shouldn't be taken right. off this person here. Okay, never mind. It yeah, uh, I'm going okay. to use my reaction to deflect missile, and it does no damage. Okay. Whoa! And I catch her arrow, and I just. Toss it to the ground. Damn. All right. 
then she's going to use her second attack on you. I think I got the right person targeted now. Uh, let's see, a 10. All right, she's going to try the Bardic Inspiration. Does a 15 hit you? Uh. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, a 15 hits. Okay, so then that will be that. Six damage. All right, cool. Now, what you also see before, let's see, I think they've, all the all the bad guys have gone. I'm going to have the uh, giant mammoth. They're going to do stuff at the end of the rounds. But what you also see, like like this tree right here, this tree right here, it starts moving. Uh-oh. Trees, they, they're real. The trees are real, man. And they're going to take, uh, uh, five, oh, wrong one. A 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then that's their turn. August, you're up. So what's what would you determine? I haven't written this down yet. Would I have everything else written down for it. But for my potion of fire breathing, when I throw it, what is the affected radius? Um... I don't. I don't remember. Whoop. Yeah, neither do I. And I forgot to write it. Write it down. Does anyone else remember? What am I remembering? My big fire bomb. His, How like, much hand, does it do? His handcrafted like fire bombs and radius and stuff. This oh. is like the the big ones. I don't. I don't know. Uh, let's say. 30 feet and 3d8 damage. All right. You need to write that down. Yeah. <laughs> For the love of God, I need to write this down. I can get my pencil. So after the dragon went, does that mean I can take the action since he went hostile? You can, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that. Okay. What would that look like on the board here? Hmm. Lovely. Cool. So you hit once, right? Well, which has appeared? Yep. Uh, I don't know. That was. I don't think that was me. Oh, the the radius. That was, that's thirty feet. Oh, that's thirty feet. Oh, that's impressive. Mm. Uh, I know. Unless you want to change it. Yeah. Dang, that's make it. That's your. <laughs> no, that's no, your no. Fire bomb? <laughs> let's make no, that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that. <laughs> let's make that uh, twenty feet. Twenty feet. Yeah. Oh, All right. Let me, let me let me let yeah, me correct that's this. That's a little much. <laughs> A fireball is 20 feet. Then that makes sense. Oh. Okay. 15, 20 feet. What would this look like after that? After, after that. Look like that. Okay. Um, can I have the giant throw me at the dragon by chance? Or have to wait for his turn? On his turn, yeah, yeah, he could, uh, he would, he would take take you and throw you. You can hold your action until you reach it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my action and have him throw me at the dragon. He smiles. I'm gonna move over to him first. Oops, wrong one. He smiles. Is like that's a good idea. A lovely idea. There we go. All right, so Alan, what are you gonna do? All right. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Man, I wonder what he's gonna do. 
All right. So I was already flying. I'm in the flying condition, so I think I was hovering in the air. Um, but yeah, I'm going to fly. Uh, I'm going to bonus action to rage. Stupid lady shouldn't have hit me with, a, with an arrow. She didn't learn from me catching the first one, I guess. So I'm going to bonus action rage. And then that turns me into a size category large. So if you could increase my size, please. Let's go to token appearance to to update. Thank you. And then I'm going to fly my 50 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50. Whee! Hi, everybody. And then uh, I am 15 feet away from the queen, so I'm going to reach out with my extended little uh, octopus God. arm, and I can grapple her from 15 feet away. All right, go for it. So because I'm raging, I have advantage on the grapple check. So that would be an... Athletics competition. I got a 16 to grapple her. You got her. Dude, she is... Oh, right. She's using acrobatics. I was like, she's strong. Plus four. All right, cool. And I immediately lift her 15 feet into the air. Okay. It, can then, it begins. And then... Uh, so now she's 15 feet in the air. And you know what? I'm just going to bring her closer to me as well. So if you could drag her to like here. All right. Okay. Now, with the treants, and uh, it's a good thing you actually uh, convinced the giant and the mammoth to come because the, 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 that's that's what they're going to do. They're going to be engaged that way. Um, now, the 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 trans going to kind of just move down here, but you're already in the grasp of the giant, who is now going to make his roll. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to have him do a... You got this. Rock roll. Rock attack. Let's do a rock attack. I am the rock. Oh, I got a target. So <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right, target the dragon. And then we're going to do... Rock. Let's see how well he does. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now, so you're you're right. You're. Let me put you up here. You've been. Oh, let me. No, I don't want to target you. I want to, okay. So. And when he throws me, I have my. I have my shield and sword and like stashed right now. They're they're sheathed. Okay. Now you can choose because you're you've been thrown, so you still have forward momentum. Um, go, are, is your plan to make an attack roll? My plan is just to like grab the <laughs> grab the driver. The, sorry, the uh, the rider, or to actually mount the dragon with the rider, then just take it from there. Okay, so give me then acrobatics or athletics as you try to cling on to the dragon it's going to do some spins it's going to do some shakes it's going to try to shake you off let's see if you can hold on i am amazing at athletics why did you say that you're gonna roll a one because he wanted to be thrown off the dragon i guess oh okay maybe not <laughs> the nastiest plus seven Oh, oh, I forgot when I have my little uh, astral. I have self. a better bonus to my strength. Holy shit! I forgot when I have my astral For self my arms, I can use my wisdom instead of my strength modifier. So whoa, cool. that's kind of cool. All right, so then that's the end of that round. So Alan went last. I'm gonna 
Ellen, you never you never rolled a initiative. That's why you're last. Oh, so I'm gonna hit the button for oh, you. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's all right. I just thought you were last, but no, you never actually hit it. That's all right. Uh, and, well, I'm last. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you're gonna be asked. Again. So that was that was my action was grappling and kind of holding on to the dragon. Yes. All right. Understood. But but now you're on it, so you. Can, I'm on it now. Yeah, yeah. It's happening. All right, Mary, what you gonna do? I got distracted by the, the shenanigans. <laughs> um, what shenanigans? I don't have a. I don't have a. If I don't have a blob to teleport me onto things, I'm gonna have a giant throw me. <laughs> Damien uh, was good. I'm going to fuck. I don't know. I'm going to cast fairy fire on. Uh, point that's centered towards the dragon so that it hits the dragon and the dude on top of the dragon. And hopefully gives people advantage when they're hitting it. <laughs> okay, fairy fire. That's a saving throw, right? Uh, yes. Go ahead, go ahead and put it up. There it is. Okay. Where is he? Right, I'm just going to move him so I can get to him. Here he is. Dexterity save. All right, he's lit up. And the dragon and the queen should also make those saves. Oh, yeah. And we got, okay, so we got that, and we got a queen at disadvantage being grappled, right? Yep. Oh, okay, she made it. I'm going to need her to re-roll that. <laughs> okay. Oh, you cast Fairy Fire? I cast Silvery Barbs on that one. Right, but if you cast Fairy Fire, I also have to make a saving throw. That is true. That's fine. I'm not going to force you to re-roll that one. Well... But, oh, well, oh. You, hold on. She's Silvery Barbs, so she can give somebody advantage, right? I'll give you advantage. <laughs> How perfect. All right. Oh, okay, well. Wow. How's that? Way better here, I'd say. A little bit better. Yep, you and the queen are not uh, fairy fired. So what does fairy fire, fairy fire do? Gives you advantage. Uh, you have advantage when you are uh, hitting them. So the condition. Oh. Let's see, maybe. Nice. Let's see if I can get a condition here. Current shield is well targeted, conscious, weakened, restrained, shocks, silence, done, prone, poison, ice, frozen, frightened, flying. Damn, she rolled that well with disadvantage. Uh -huh. 11 plus 8? She gets plus 8 to her throat? She what does, a... yeah. Monster. What a my, yeah, for real. What a wild woman. She is statted. Dun, 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 dun. Is that it for you, Mary? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, nope, that's that's pretty much all I got. Okay, now, it's, our, it's their turn. Okay, one second. Let me the dragon move back to the right spot. Okay, um, Alan, give me yeah. an intelligence saving throw, please. Uh, yeah, okay. Good luck with this one. Six. Oh, shit. So I'm trying to find something here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to read as fast as I can. Don't mind me. I was just consuming that spell slot. Sorry. Okay. 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 
okay, I, I see here, okay. All right, so, um, <clears throat> now. Okay, so what, you're, you're about 15 feet up, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And she's 30 feet above me. She's about 30 feet above you? Okay. Well, she's 30 feet off the ground, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, 30, 30, 30 feet off the ground. Okay. So what happens is as uh, you're, as you got her grab, she starts to kind of so, to sort of shapeshift, like in, in your hold. Um, she's like almost like turning into a, like a snake. And as she's turning into a snake, she's wiggling, attempting to wiggle free. So go ahead and give me um, another roll. Um, I'm, uh, it would be a disadvantage, but since you're advantage, it goes down to normal. Okay, hold on to this slippery snake. Jesus Christ. All right, cool. I'm just going to refresh. Maybe she can fail. I don't know. She can get a crit. Oh, never mind. She can get nope. a high number. She, she did just fine. Yep, she did fine. And uh, let's see. I'm going to have her, see, 30 feet up. Uh, I'm going to give her a deck save on that. She's, she's pretty agile and knows how to fall. Oh, okay. So oh. never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, Not this time. Let's do. Give me a. Uh, give me three d six, Alan. All right. Three d six. Oh shit. Wow. Cool. Okay. Yeah, she takes a. She takes a little damage from the fall. Okay. Uh, you could have done worse, but not much. Could have. Yeah. Right. <laughs> dragon's turn. Okay. So the dragon is gonna. Let's see, we got, let me move it back. So we got August on top of the dragon. I'm thinking you're behind this guy. So these two are going to, uh, let's see. Well, the dragon is now actually going to swing around and make a move towards Alan. And the rider is going to, let's see, cast a spell. August, give me a charisma save, please. Ooh. Okay. Damn, August, you don't like spellcasters. You should have cut his tongue out already. <laughs> I, you know, if I had an action, I would. I think I'm saving my action to throw my firebomb in the dragon's mouth, though. Let me let me check. Let me check something. Actually, no, that's for my action. Never mind. Charisma save. Can throw. Okay, so about that lucky point. Yeah, if you got it, you want to use it. Yeah. A little better. A little better. Okay. Um, Not enough, I'm sure. Let me just double check. Uh, I know what I'm doing here. There you go. I'm sorry. August, uh, disappear. If you'd like, you can make an Arcana check. Oh, shit. Nah, motherfucker got polymorphed. I'm gone.
Yeah, I'll make an Arcana check, but I'm pretty sure you got polymorphed. Uh, 14 to figure it out. Uh, I'd say that's high enough. It's 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 uh, common enough. You've seen it. No, he got banished. He's uh, been banished. Oh, banishment only lasts for one round if it's his natural plane, right? Or does it last for one minute? Uh, I can't remember. I, if I, I recall, one round. it lasts for a minute, and if he doesn't get unbanished, he stays there forever. No, that's... Nope. He's I'm he's sure. from check. this plane of existence, so he would he got banished to a pocket dimension for... Until the spell ends. Which the spell lasts for one minute. Yeah. Unless he breaks concentration. Okay. Mary, get thrown onto the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd and, I end up? And then on the dragon's... Why? I have my own wings. And then on the dragon's turn, to wrap that up, it's going to do a... Mm -hmm. It's going to fly and attack you there. Um, Alan. Okay. Bite, bite, claw. Okay. So let's target you. And let's do... Bite. That hits. Bite? Oh no, shit. I'm sorry, I didn't want bite. I wanted claw. Are they the same are they the same thing? Let me double check. Okay, they are. Okay, but the damage is different. Okay. So those are actually claws. Okay. So one claw hits, one claw misses. Now this is the bite. There's no, like, banished thing. That's right, I didn't want to, like, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that hits. Okay, so one claw, one bite, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so here's the, here. here's the, here's the bite. <clears throat> and, so, 19, and the claw will be... Yeah, I take eleven damage from the dragon bite. I just had to. I, I just had to roll again to get to the damage button. Okay, and here's the claw. Ten. And the claw does five because I'm raging. Yep. And I forgot to roll for the breath weapon recharge, so I'll do that now. And it's not recharged. Okay, looks like all of my bad guys have gone, and now our treants are battling the giant and the mammoth. So they got them occupied. All right, I'm gonna re-roll initiative for Alan here. Well, we haven't gone yet. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. August, go ahead. <laughs> I was assuming they. <laughs> I'm <could> banished. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, you. August. You just sit down and have a cup of tea while you're on that demi plane for a little Sounds bit. Sounds good. Where am I? Where'd your token go? I made it invisible. You banished his head. <laughs> I'm not no, here, I didn't. <laughs> No, I, there was no like banished status. Oh, here you are. Okay. <laughs> the high level spell for our level. Now, I know it doesn't say it, but I don't. Like players are sitting out. So at the end of your turn, August, give me another save. Save of a charisma what? save to break the spell. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think that being character of August, honestly, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Th that's all right. Yeah, make, make make your save. Yeah. Okay. Charisma. Charisma, charisma, charisma. Same throw. Oh, well, I'm back. Okay. Now, the good oh. news is, yes, you are Thank back. Thank God he's still there. Well, no, no, the bad news. Move. Yeah, he, he oh, moved. Oh, shit. Yeah, so you're about 30 feet in the air. Give me, uh, give me a deck save. Nothing I can reach for? No. You're just trying to okay. land without killing yourself. Do I still have the um, ward? Mary? Probably, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. Okay, so I get a plus two to my saves. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. So we're, we're going to say, like, you know, when you land, you land bad on your ankle for a point of damage. Ah. 
it gets half. <laughs> oh, then then you get nothing. You're fine. But that was your that was your turn. All right. Well, at least I'm back. Okay, Alan, you're in the air. The queen has slithered away from you. The dragon is attacking you. What do you want to do? I can find the queen though, right? So she you didn't can. hide her. Anything. Yeah, yeah, she's on the ground. Yeah, but she 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 looks normal again. Okay. Uh, so then this time, I'm going to. I'm only 15 feet off the ground, so I'm going to use my little go go extendo arms um, to try to use my tavern brawler strike. Uh, to make an attack and bonus action, try to pick up the queen. Or try to grapple the queen with this attack. So I have to roll the hit. And I'm going to reckless attack, so that way I get advantage on the attack roll. Well, you get disadvantage on this particular one, so you're at normal then. Because, yeah, as, as you're reaching for her, you see her shifting and, and like, slipping move, and like as, as you're trying to, like, grab. Well, I'm just trying to punch her, but... Oh, okay. a, a punch. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Never mind. This is an unarmed strike. Yeah, this is an unarmed strike. Then, yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, so it's not plus five, it's plus six, because I can use my wisdom modifier and set up my strength modifier in the attack roll. So a 19 to hit. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, go ahead. And I, I was I was gonna change my mind, but since you already rolled, that's cool. You can have this hit. But uh, yeah, the, the it, that would apply on on attack rolls too. But for this one, you got her. So go ahead and roll damage. All right. So it's one d four plus five. So she's gonna take. Uh, I rolled a two, so she takes seven damage. I know it says four. But I use my wisdom modifier instead of my strength, and because I'm raging, I add two yeah, to my fine. physical attacks. So that's why it's plus seven, or plus. Uh, that's why it would be seven instead of four. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and then because it was the tavern brawler strike as a bonus action, I get to make a free grapple check against her. Okay, again at disadvantage, but maybe right. Wrong. But mm -hmm. I'm raging, so I have advantage, right. and so it's just at. 17 to grapple. Oh, you got her again. Yeah, like, like as her arm is like trying to turn into a snake, but you got a good uh, hold on it. All right, and I haven't used any of my movement or my regular action, so I'm going to uh, action dash, and I'm going to fly 100 feet in the air. Whoa. Okay. And I'm going to hold her up 115 feet up. All right. That is a very, very effective threat. 115 plus the amount you were hovering. Where were you at before? Oh, yeah, 130. I was 15 feet off the ground. So <laughs> plus 100 <laughs> plus 15 more for my reach, 130 feet up in the air. Every little bit matters. <laughs> All right. Anything Dude, else? I'm sure she has something in her fucking cookbook. Anything? She's turning into the worm. Anything else? Uh, for you, action, bonus action. Uh, I'm good. All right, I'm going to re-roll your initiative. And you're still last. All right, Mary. I am going to move closer. Oh, and Mary's first. I was so confused. I was like, how am I Oh, yeah, I have to Mary maintain 60 first? feet with you. You're fine. I'm watching. Okay. I need to make sure because I don't Banish need to... Banish to another plane of existence, that. so wouldn't that break the spell? I don't know what I'm saying. It was an uh, overlapping plane, so it counts. And I am going to cast Snow Globe. Snow Globe, my beloved. Uh, so for uh, 30 foot radius of me, any of my allies get plus 1d6 temporary hit points at the end of their turn. Uh, and uh, I can end effects causing you to be charmed or frightened. How big is it? 30 feet radius. 
You can charm <clears throat> if the if the you're, oh my me. god. Excuse me. So something about charmed or frightened? Yeah, I can choose to end those effects. Oh, okay. Cool. Thirty feet around you, you said. Thirty foot radius. There we go. Alright, anything else for you? Looks like it reaches that one too. He's like a hundred feet up. I uh, did, yeah. I'm oh, I forgot. I forgot. I, I am, <laughs> I am top down. feet up as well. Um, no, I don't think so it would reached. be sixty. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Yeah, I'm one hundred and fifteen feet up in the air. Well, I need to stay within sixty feet of uh, homie. So. All right, I, I'll do my thing. You guys do yours. Kill the witch. All right, anything else for you, Mary? Just moving inside, no, so. I think that pretty much does it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's start off with Breath Weapon Recharge. <clears throat> Not yet. Love to see it. So you said 150 feet, right, Alan? That's how high high up you are. One more. Uh, I'm 115. Yes, yeah, she's 130. Uh, 100, 115. Sorry, sorry. Okay. The dragon gonna come up to me and say hello. <laughs> That's fair. What's the average roll for? Let's see. If I fly up another hundred feet and then I just enter a free fall. How much is the average roll for 20 D6? Well, 20 times 3, so 60. Yeah. So that'll pretty much knock me out. Hopefully it'll knock her out too. I'll punch her a few times in the face on her way up just for good measure. You got wings. Why are you getting knocked out? Uh, Because I don't trust her to have something in her pocket to nullify this so mutual, it's insured in mutual destruction yeah so i'm just gonna enter a free fall and pretty much like pile drive her into the ground okay well i'll be here on standby yeah yeah mary can heal me when i get knocked out that's true yeah. i get knocked out <laughs> i will be right back one okay. minute, please. Yeah, go, go ahead. I'm just I'm thinking, figuring out what they, everyone's doing here. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so 115, and let's say the dragon was 30, the dragon can fly 80, so that's 110. Um, does he have, does this have reach? He does, 10 feet, yeah, he can get there. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. Dragon flies up to you, Alan, and is going to try to claw at you again. Apparently he can reach you. All right. yeah, he's fast. Yep. He's a fast boy. All right, here's the first. I'm going to do this right this time. Here's the first claw. Like, Stop asking me if I want to deflect missiles. He's hit me with a claw attack. I can't deflect a missile. <laughs> yeah, that hits. 
My AC is 14, so just roll that or yes. better. Okay, so, yep, so I take seven. seven. Okay, here's the next one. Already I'm back. Okay. That'll hit. I'll take five. Okay. And uh, with two successful claws, I, I like to I give them advantage on the bite. Easily for you to for reel you in. Yeah, that gets me. That's gonna be that much. You shit. Uh, how much? Oh, 19. Uh, well, I gotta. So, nine piercing, so that's five, four, plus six cold is 10. Because I'm not immune to any magic. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I could take. Probably two more rounds of that abuse before I am done. Okay. And the rider on his back casts a spell, so give me a con save, please. Okay, I failed. All right, you are blind. Uh, I don't have to be blind. It doesn't change much. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to I don't have to know where I'm flying, I just have to fly up. Now, what else here? We got a queen trying to wriggle herself free again, so you're still at disadvantage on this. And Right, but because of my size that I'm raging I'm at. You're normal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, and because I use my Wisdom modifier instead of my Strength modifier, it's got this. plus 6, not plus 5, so it's 1. I got a 21. I got a 20. 1, 21. All right, Whoa. So you still got her. Okay, then that brings us, I think that's all of their turns. August. <laughs> um, Dragon's out of range. Yeah, he's like 110 feet up. Queen's out of range. <laughs> She's 115 feet up. <laughs> or, 130. Oh, 130. Three, sorry, an sorry. three ants are occupied. Um, I'm going to move. I'm going to move right here so I'm within the snow globe because I want that on the D6. Can I move kind of, kind of fucked up here? At the edge of the snow clips effect. Yep. Then, as my action, I'm gonna throw one of my daggers at the bard elf thing. Red, little red riding hood. All right. Let's see. But I just do just a regular dagger attack for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. And there's one. I am targeting myself. How awkward. That misses anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the dagger comes back around. And <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? It's like, oh man, I threw the boomer dagger. Then right. my second attack. That hits. All right. It does. Gonna roll damage. Then for my third attack, I'm going to use your third attack. Not... Yeah, hold on, let me explain it. I can oh. get D and D Beyond to work, so I can explain it. Bonus action, quick toss. Bonus action, you can use one superior die to make a ranged attack. Ah. If you hit, okay, so. And third attack. I can choose my oh. section. A D20? This is going to be good. Crit that. Okay. Man. So it's a critical plus a D8 for my well, superiority be, die. Yeah, so it's 2D8 because you rolled critical damage two times. Oh! Oh my god. 27 damage. Ow. That's a hell of a dagger. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Seriously. It's like, fuck you, move. <laughs> My, it's my it's my at range and I want to deal DPS. It's a big dagger. Yeah, that it's hit a good dagger. Square in the chest and he's like stumbling backwards. It looks like he's still up, but not for much longer. 
Okay, I think that was all my daggers, to be honest. Let me let me double check my inventory. That was all of my daggers. Okay. Shit. Okay. Anything else for you? <clears throat> oh. Alright. Next turn, I'll make my advance. I want to end my turn and get the plus d6 to my HP and be happy with my, my decisions. <laughs> All right, Alan. All right. Uh, you can roll an opportunity attack on me with this dragon, but I'm going to use my bonus action to step of the wind to double my movement speed for the turn. And then I'm going to... Uh, would you let me combine... a? No, nah, because it's technically dashing. Nothing. Never mind. Um, so, step of the wind to double my movement speed. Okay, there it is. And then uh, I'm going to fly another 100 feet up, but I would like to go over towards where Mary is. Or, yeah, where Mary Maker is. Okay, so, like, so kind of up here, but way high up. Yeah. What's your total height now? Uh, 215 feet. So she's sitting at 230 feet in the air. Oh my god, nice. And then I'm going to use my action to make an attack roll. Um, I'm going to do reckless attack. So do I get advantage on the attack roll? Um, you do, um, but, it, but you're still at disadvantage for her condition. So I guess that brings it down to normal. Okay, she must have a weird special condition. Okay, Mary, cool. Do you have I miss. Daggers on you? I miss with my long sword of life. Uh, so I'm gonna try to my second attack roll with my long sword of life. Does a twenty-two hit? Yes. Okay, she takes eight uh, slashing damage. Yeah, it's just eight. It's not. Okay. You don't add the. You don't add the d10. Um, the game's just. Yeah. I see. Okay. Anything else? Um. For you? Yeah. Can I just enter a free fall? Um. Uh, you fall five hundred feet in a single round if you just enter a free fall. So. Can we just crash? Uh. At the start of your next turn, you'll hit the ground. Okay. Something's <laughs> something's happening. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. oh, but I'm last, so I get the reroll initiative. Yes. So it, maybe I could be first, and then. Come on, baby. Yeah, right. <laughs> roll good. Big numbers, no whammies. Right. <laughs> Big <Heaven>. numbers. <laughs> Well, August is last now. <laughs> yeah, it's something. It's something. Okay, Mary. Okay, first I'm going to move up. Thank you. And so that should give our buddy August a little more space. Ten What's the maximum? 60? I need 30 feet to, for for the um... the ward. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Same, right. Depending on how things play out, I may not go for her. That's fine. I just wanted to give you space to do what you need to do. I appreciate that. Thank you. And how far away is Buddy Dragon? 110 feet in the air. That is just within range. <laughs> How quaint. Four. I targeted him. Just an Eldritch Blast. Nothing, nothing fancy. So I'm just, they're not moving. I'm just kind of trying to get to things. Reorganizing. Yeah. stuff. <laughs> All right, you hit it. 
I hit it twice. All right. I'm going to call that a successful turn and end. I think end so. End it there. Okay. Now, on their turn, so Alan, you're falling in a free fall. You're going to pass the dragon, so it's going to make an attempt to uh, catch you. So give me uh, one of your grapple checks. <laughs> uh, but, this one, but this one does not apply any disadvantage to. All right. So again, plus six on the roll. Dude, can I just roll one time, like, decent? I got an 11. <laughs> can you cantrip him? Can you, can you see silvery barbs him? Uh, only to give disadvantage. Wait, no, uh -huh. it's a force a re-roll. And I have to no, take the lowest there. one. So maybe you can do it to the dragon. Yeah. That's on your turn, though. You can't just... All right. Well, it's react. silvery barbs is a reaction. All right. uh, oh. I will react and silvery barbs the dragon, I guess. Okay. Just roll low. Oh, dude, that was a three. Come on. <laughs> All right, you're falling. You collide into the dragon. He catches you, um, and you and he's sl your, your, the force, the momentum of your uh, fall um, it, it is slowed, but it, it, but you're still descending, um, just not as fast as a, a free fall. He's like got his wings out. He's trying to slow down, um, so you're not going to hit this uh, this round. But that was the dragon's action. Let me see if his. Uh, uh, I am going to give advantage to Alan on that. So okay. I have advantage on something. On your, yeah, your next thing. Which you're going to have to. You may want to use if you uh, if you want. But yeah, give me a wisdom save, Alan. The uh, the the writer is casting another spell. Okay, yeah, I will use advantage on this. I rolled two ones. I literally rolled two ones. Wow. wow. <laughs> what did you do to piss off the dice gods? What did you do? I decided I decided to be a, I decided to be a part of this session. That's what it happened. No. That's not what happened. Yeah, I just I should have just sat out. All right. No, well, we appreciate your being here. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We do, we do. Now that was a hold spell, so you are. Um, was it incapacitated for hold? Hold, hold person. person? Par paralyzed. Yeah, paralyzed. Um, am I? Hold on. If he casts hold person, right? Yes. I gotta see if my race is even a humanoid to see if that spell works on me. Go uh, game rules. Races, I think I am. Yeah, yeah, you're a humanoid. Worth a look. Not Unfortunate. Like yeah. Okay, so you're paralyzed in the dragon's claws, but he's already made an action for the uh, uh, the the the, the elves action. Let's see. You can't make. Yeah, you can't roll. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bother having her roll. She slithers out and up onto the back of the dragon. Now, this guy up here, the one you threw a dagger at, um, August. On <laughs> the his, one who's hurting. Yeah, on his turn, he's going to cast a spell. May have to move up to do it. How far are you away? No, no, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, let's see. Give me a... Wisdom save. Yes. Here comes, here comes. Plus, I can't set bonuses. That plus two. Okay. Uh, you fall to the ground laughing hysterically. Oh, <laughs> you got hideous laughter. All right, so that's their turn. I really there goes. Okay. All right, Merrymaker. The game's in your hands. Is there another save allowed for a hold person? 
Does it? Uh, it? Yeah, it should be at the end of my turn or something, I think. Yeah, so it is uh, your turn, so go ahead and at the end of it, make your uh, save. And then what is it? How are the giant wisdom. doing? How's wisdom. the giant? Yeah, they're 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 toe to toe with the treants. Alright. Yeah, wisdom. Okay, let me go to my character. Let me roll another nat one, please. That'd be great. Fourteen. Nah, it's not gonna save. That is. It does. You're no longer paralyzed. Yay! But you're but you're grappled by the dragon, but you're not paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's their turn. All of them went. Okay, that well, that was your turn. August, your turn. You went last. Okay, what do I do for the city's laughter? Another wisdom, uh, wisdom save. Yeah, yeah. At the end of your turn, it would be a wisdom save. Yeah. Here it comes. That's a four. Still laughing. Or sorry, it's a five. Yeah, still laughing. Uh, I'm gonna use my lucky. I'm gonna use my lucky fee on that. Use it. Done. Yeah. Wisdom. Let's go. Here it goes again. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, does that make it? That makes it. You're, you're still on the ground prone, so you'll have to uh, use half your movement to uh, to stand up. Um, I, and, I stand. Yeah, let's uh, re-roll initiative for you. Okay. So you're still going to go last. All right. Now, we got we still got a little ways on uh, this fight. Um, do we want to keep... I, actually, I, I really can't. I got I to gotta be heading out. Um... Let me, let me make a note of wherever, uh, a couple of notes here. So I'm just going to put it here in the chat. We got Alan. Take a picture of the initiative. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll stay saved. Um, oh, okay. As we'll say, Alan is, I'm just going to make a note. Let's see, grappled by dragon. And they're about, let's see, so you collided, I'm thinking at about, let's see, they were 110. You were falling. You hit him. I'm going to say you guys went down a probably good 50 feet. So I would say you're about 60 feet up now. 60 feet up. And August is prone starting the next round. I don't know what, oh, I had him selected. Okay, so just, I think those are the only two things I needed to keep in mind. Yeah. And, and if you haven't figured it out, this is the, uh, the our, our, our final showdown. A big, bad, evil guy. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right, let me, um, let me, let me start the recording here.